Now we'll talk about third pair here. It also contains eight elements. It starts with sodium and ends with argon. So the atomic number is 11 and here the atomic number is 18. The fourth period is about 18 elements and starts with potassium and ends with krypton. And the atomic number of potassium is 19 and the krypton is 36. The fifth period contains once again 18 elements. It starts with rubidium and ends with xenon. The atomic number of xenon is 54, whereas rubidium is 37. And the sixth period is cesium. Starts with cesium and the atomic number is 55 and ends with radon. That's the atomic number is 86. So Mendeleev this is considered as Mendeleev's periodic table and here is the seventh element it contains 32 elements starts with the francium and the atomic number is 87 and ends with uranium and ends with 118 as atomic number The top 3 is considered as short period and the long and the bottom 3 is considered as long periods. The numbers 2, 8, 8, 18, 18 and 32 is nothing but the orbital max value or max electrons in the orbitals. It's considered as magic numbers. Dimitri Mendeleev He is the one who found and created the periodic table. Using his periodic table, Mendeleev predicted the existence and properties of new chemical elements. Lothar Meyer Julius Lothar von Mayer was a German chemist. Lothar was one of the pioneers in developing the first periodic table of chemical elements. Both Mendeleev and Mayer worked with Robert Bunsen. Mayer is best known for his part in the periodic classification of the elements. Lothar Mayer arrange the order of their atomic weights they followed the groups of similar chemical and physical properties repeated at periodic intervals if the atomic weights were plotted as ordinates and the volume as abyss the curve obtained a series of a maxima and minima the most electropositive elements appearing in the peaks of the curve in the order of their atomic weight Thank you from Jita Company